Hi, it's Monday. It's time for Pick of the Week. I'm Lady Lex UK and this is my selection from the week ending the 9th of February. Wait a minute, I hear you cry. It's not Tuesday. Don't you normally do Pick of the Week on a Tuesday? Um, Yes, I do. However, there is a big update tomorrow and Dreams is going to be updated to the full version for those of us with early access. And because of that, Dreams will be out of action for an undeterminate amount of time. So I didn't want to uh, uh, have an issue tomorrow when I tried to do my pick of the week. So so I thought best to be safe than sorry and do it today. So that's why um, we've got a Monday pick of the week. I'm not changing um, anything around other than my top 10 um lists my top 10 new releases of the week will now be on fridays so that it will match up with uh launch so on friday there will be a um uh, top 10 instead of on sunday and then it'll be friday from then on right then let's have a look at our selection um i'm trying to pick things that maybe are not being shown by other uh youtube dreams people um they like to try and find the very very best the most innovative uh, the best graphics best of everything and and i like to show you the best too but i also like to show you some of the things that maybe aren't going to get on um people's best of lists just because um i think everybody needs a shot at being shown and um when we get lots of new people are onto dreams they're not going to be as amazingly proficient as those of us that have been uh playing about with it for a year and that's for obvious reasons so um it'd be nice just to just to mix it up so there's going to be a mixture of stuff that are just interesting or creative or has got a great idea behind it and not necessarily the best graphics or the best sculpting or whatever so Um, I hope that's okay with everybody and that's the sort of thing that you've come to my channel to see. Right, let's start off with our elements, shall we? Um, So we've got a one-sided sofa by Mega Derpinator. I'm not sure that I've shown anything from them before. Let's have a look. This is a very nice Victorian chaise long. So if you're making a Sherlock Holmes game or a haunted mansion or something, this is a great prop to have in the background there you can always change the colors of the the seats if you want make that like green leather if you wanted to it's very nice it's three percent uh in its graphics thermo so a nice low uh thermo object very attractive and very useful so there we go one-sided sofa as we're doing furniture let's do our decorative lamp by ramki banazuka uh inspired by a, a lamp my sister bought Um, So let's have a look at this. This is also, I think, 3%, uh, based on a Victorian lamp in the uh, Greek Revival style with its pedestal and acanthus leaves, whatever they're supposed to be called. It's very nice. It hasn't got a lamp, uh, a a bulb, um, but you made a bulb as well. So you can always add that to the the lamp if you wanted to, or you make your own. I also like the uh, lampshade on this very very impressive looks like material beautifully done three percent again nice useful lovely prop to have in the background there and that you can put that in a modern setting as well if somebody has got a bit of antiques in their house it doesn't have to be an old building at all right we've got a character model here this is austin blake i'm going to show you this in remix mode because i just want to show you something uh, about it austin blake by con balls uncharted inspired action hero let's have a look at him he's very nice look at that casual clothes nice t-shirt jeans um trainers oh, hiking boots really aren't they very nice lovely lovely sculpted uh, wrinkles in the clothing and everything there muscles and things and it's a pretty good face as well it's pretty nice um however and this is probably personal taste but i think his neck is a little long but it's easy fixed so if you're going to tools and stretch and i just grab his head and pull it down a bit there we go i think that's a little bit low 
I think that's a little bit better, a little bit more natural. I think the neck was just a tad too long there. And there we go. Again, like I say, personal taste, but um, I think I prefer that. Um, it has some gameplay thermo uh, additions. It's 5% five, 5 gameplay. Um, I'm not quite sure why. It has no animation or anything added to it. So it's all in the sculpt that that gameplay thermo is being added. So I presume there's some cloning going on. And 7% graphics on top. So it's a little high, uh, higher than some of the other props. Uh, but not too high that you couldn't use this and if you're making a game this is going to be your principal character anyway so you can afford to have that um a little bit higher in thermo than other things that you've got in the world that maybe you're going to copy uh to make it up so i don't think that's too bad at all very nice model right we've got a collection here this is the military asset collection uh by mid jam uh, here is his military base example. So we'll um, have a good look at this. Um, it's a really lovely set. It's sort of like a toy town military set. So everything is uh, really smooth and uh, low poly. I think that's, that's, the, that's the phrase. Uh, we've got some really nice towers. The soldiers are fantastic. Look at these simple but really good and i really love the marching ones so where are the marching soldiers here they come look at these how fantastic does this look wow look at that fantastic they're really really good so if you wanted to make yourself a little uh, game um, i'm apologizing if you can hear that strange noise that is uh, uh, a storm has just brewed up outside my window and is going bang 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 on the windowsill um if you want to make yourself a little military game maybe a combat game a strategy game uh even a platformer you could have this little character running around jumping on things it'd be fun uh here is a set for you to try all these little pieces that you can uh, use in your own creation so let's have a look and see what he's got. So we've got props here. So we've got things like barrels. Um, there's a little flat crate thing. Some floodlights. Um, we've got some landscaping thing. There's a helipad there. Some rocks. Um, we've got a helicopter with a fantastic tank. various trucks and we've got some buildings here so there's some some wall pieces the tent so everything that you saw in that military base example is all available for you in this little kit which is absolutely amazing um i really must do something about uh, promoting some of these amazing kits that you're all making I'll, uh, I'll have to have a think about that one see what i can do right whoops we don't want to do that uh how do i get out of it <laughs> i don't know how to get out of it there we go right right now we've got never ending randomly generated roadway by apollonius right this is really good a bit of innovation here um if you're interested in making a endless runner style game um then this is really good this has got a remixable scene so that you can see how this is being made um and uh, as you can see this side here um there is like the opposite over here so that's why that that sign is um back to front so but maybe not use text gadgets um unless you want them to be backwards with what, what this has been developed in uh, but uh, it is extremely clever so these um, stones and grass and trees are being randomly placed down I think with the fence panels and everything it's all random and it's being created at the end here if I can get to the end and you'll see there we go it's being emitted from a random and uh, randomized it's very very clever so there we go there is something for you to use if you fancy 
uh, making an endless runner maybe you could use this uh, what you will need to do though is um, this is the dream version of it which you can't remix um, you need to go into uh, genealogy and go into this version of it which is the scene there we go and remix that never ending randomly generated roadway it's very interesting so let's have a quick look at the um there it is so let's have a quick look at the remix there we are it's very hard to see to see uh what what's going on because there's a lot of hidden microchips but um let's have a look there's some randomizers in here and some emitters so it's emitting some objects um that's emitting a microchip that's emitting something I can't see. Let's see. Still can't see it. Uh, that one. I don't know. But there's some trees and and rocks and grass, grassy bits here that's being emitted. Um, there's a signpost there. Um, there's a bit of fence there. So these are all the little bits that are being emitted randomly as the uh, road is being made. I might have another look at that a bit later on. Right. So there we go. Randomly generated roadway. Very useful. Let's get on to the artwork then. So we have... Um, We'll start off with Amenjo One and his reflections. I recently did a deconstructing dreams video on an Amenjo experiment. Here is his, uh, here is another one um, using a very similar method, I think, um, but I haven't taken it apart, so I don't know. Uh, music by uh, DCM GUI. This is quite interesting. So we have a circle here, a sphere passing over these blocks which are now moving it's, it's quite extraordinary if we go around the back uh, you can see it's it's doing the reverse so it's it's pulling out at one side and um, being removed at the other and he's got a, a series of shapes This is the impressive one. Look at that. It's really good. And uh, you could use that for a visualizer in a game or something. Really nice. Uh, keep, keep experimenting, Amenjo. Right, our next one is um, some sort of cover of uh, a Disney thing. And I don't recognise this. So um, I went and looked it up and um, the Owl House, because it didn't mean it to me. I presume it's on the Disney Channel or something, which I don't have. But uh, there we are. I thought it had a really nice colour palette for it. Stained glass windows and everything. I like this a really nice bluey green for the house roof and that very nice pinky orange for the chimney breast. I thought it was really good. Nice choice of colours. There we are. Now then, here is a tour de force by one of the artists of dreams. Mad at Arms is Wolverine. Now then, for those of you who are new to dreams and um, are are seeing things like this and are, are getting inspired and amazed and thinking, I can get dreams tomorrow and I can make things like this. Chances are that you won't be able to, um, even if you are an artist, because you're going to need some time to get used to the tools. Um, Mad at Arms, like a lot of us have been playing dreams now for a year and uh, it take some time to get used to the controls to be able to make things also you have to be talented uh, which Mad at Arms clearly is um, so 
do not be disheartened and um, upset if you go into dreams, get dreams and think, I can't do this. Look at what people are creating. I can't do that. I haven't got the skills. I haven't got the talent. Dreams isn't about that. Uh, there are talented people on dreams, but you will find your voice and it doesn't have to be the meticulous and, and amazing sculptures that some of these artists are producing to be popular. Um, there are people that have got uh, levels in dreams that are popular that are using basically cubes and spheres and that's it with no details on them whatsoever. So do not feel that you have to be an amazing artist to get the most out of dreams because you don't. However, having said that, this is amazing. And I wish I had uh, even a tiny bit of this guy's talent. Fantastic. And here's another talented uh, artist. This is Big Bumelia. Oh, Skeleton Lord. Now, I had to look at uh, their uh, portfolio stuff and they put O oh in front of everything for some reason. I don't know why. Um, maybe they can tell me in the comments. Um, but this is a great model. This is like a diorama, like a like a, a resin figure that you might buy if you're interested in that sort of thing. Um, it's a beautiful model. Um, I think it's an entry in the medieval game jam. And I hope it does well because this is great. There's a lot to see here. So we've got these fantastic shields, a lamp, your skeleton warrior here or... Is he a robot? Is he a mixture? I think he's a skeleton. There's a there's a ma magical heart beating inside there. It's really amazing. Really great detail. And um, this is something that a lot of people forget is that you are working in 3D. Um, things need to look good from all angles. And this certainly does that. It's fantastic. I love it. He's even thought about putting some things inside this there we go there's some skeletons and skulls and things in there great model very nicely done indeed right here we have our latest from disarmed x now he's been a little bit quiet recently he was quite prolific in the beta and then not very much in um early access certainly not in the last few months um I think he's working on a big project, so um, we don't feel bad about it. This is Calming Room, and um, it's a very realistic representation of um, a plate and a cup in a, looks like a hospital, an old hospital room or a school. It's a bit hard to say what that is. It's got um, tiled walls anyway so he's, he's gone for the ultra realism and there are a few ultra realists um in dreams again this is um the extreme of the talent um how to make things look really real um though i don't know i think just just representing something that looks real in dreams um isn't going to be as popular now at uh, popular later as it is now i think it's going to get to a point where people go eh, it's a plate you know <laughs> now we're impressed with this because it's dreams and people are still pushing the boundaries how real can we make things look and you would not believe how real um things are but at the end of the day this is a plate and a cup um how exciting are people how excited are people going to be about that say in a year's time um, I think we'll see less and less of, of, of these sort of little realistic things without something a little bit more than just being real. Um, and that's not taking anything away from this because um, it, it's, it's... Look at that. You just change the lighting conditions. It looks completely different. It's a, it's a really great bit of sculpting. But it is a plate. Right, Wheat Farm by Dwayne the Dog. I just like the whimsical feel to this. Um, I just thought it was cute. It's got this little boy here. 
with his hat and his pat lunch or whatever. There's some nice calming music. And he just walks through his farm. So this is a sort of somewhere between cartoony and realism. It's a beautiful style. It's very nice. There's nothing to play, it's just a bit of artwork, just a scene. So you've got your windmills and your carts full of barrels. But it's it's charming and that's that's good. Good use of lighting as well, look at this. I feel like I'm inside a barn. There we go. Right, we're on to the movies now. And first up is Kodak by the Argo Darkness. In a moment, everything will change. So let's play. There we go, just a simple little short. Everything changed. Celeste Project, Chapter 1, The Exodus. Now, I don't know if there's a game at the end of this because I've not got through the opening cutscene. I think it's just a movie, but um, we'll see. Uh, it's some planets. I probably won't play all of it, but let's go. Very spacey, very, very good science fiction uh, little movie there. Right, now this impressed me. Um, I have this book, uh, The Animator's Survival Kit by Richard Williams. Sadly, Richard Williams died, uh, I don't know if it was the beginning of this year or certainly um, within within the year. And um, his book, uh, The Animator's Survival Kit, I thoroughly recommend I will put a link to it in the description uh, below um, it's uh, a great way of learning animating style um, 
how to how to create movement with animation and animation in in dreams uh there is lots of opportunities to do different styles and this is uh, a 2d representation of some horses following the instructions in the book and it's an amazing job i think these horses look fantastic really good and the running horses i love let's do that look at that i have no idea how long this has taken to make i'm hoping it's not that long um i really want to have a go at this because that looks so good Music is cool as well. There we are. So monocled robot uh, and his horse animation study. Really impressive. I love it. Right on to the games then. Uh, we have Exo Rage FPS Arena Survival by Daniel Hamster. Survive against endless waves of enemies by upgrades and set up defenses to defeat your foes. Right, so let's have a go at this then. It looks very colourful. So there we are. Tutorial. Learn and practice the game mechanics. Should we do that? Let's do that. Right. Basics and war run. Press X to jump. Press circle to crouch. If you press circle, circle, you will form a dodge dash. I don't know about the dodge dash. Oh, okay, there we go. Press X while walking forwards to run upwards. Whoa! We got over that wall. Uh, press L3 to sprint, then circle to slide. To wall run, you must be near a wall and be in the air. Press the left joystick forward to keep running. You can also jump from wall to wall with an X. Oh, good God, really? Whoa. Well, there we are. Congratulations. You've completed the movement control. Hold R1 to teleport to the start. This is very cool. Trade pod and waves. Tutorial for combat. Let's just go into it. Let's just play. Shall we? Shall we just play? There we go. I'll get the hang of it. Ah. Uh, Okay. Okay. Let's go. Gotcha. Oh, reload. Whoa. The arena has changed. Right, we can change our gun as well. So we can have this. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. Oh, wow. All these are totally not the right... This is not the right gun at all. Let's try this one. Come on. Yes, got ya. Yes. Trade pod available. So you can buy things and... Is that an enemy? Or is that a trade pod? <laughs> Who knows? I don't, it's, it's, right, 17 seconds for the next wave, so... There we go. 
it's cool though now the only thing i would say is i absolutely hate this glitch effect take it off it just makes your picture look rubbish i don't i know it's my own personal taste but i hate the glitch effect i don't think it's adding anything to your game it's just making your picture look bad your game is fantastic it does not need it and then i'm dead there we are very cool very cool right next game then it's a bit slightly different plinko monkey island by sir green day right so you've got to catch the oh God, the, the coconuts in the basket and it's not as easy as it looks not that I'm making it look easy, I'm looking, making it look incredibly difficult. I think the best I've done on this was seven. I got one. That's two. Three. Four. Four. Oh no! Uh. Five. F oh, yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna beat my high score, am I? No, six. There we are. It's a fun little game. I like fun little games. Let's just send to my imp a bit. There we go. Very nice. Simple. Like a nice simple games. Right, rooftops. Uh, by Watch Kabaz. start menu and away we go so this is a work in progress obviously now this is a character that's um, been in the uh, Dreamiverse for a while I think it was a beta creation This is quite cool with it you're running around. I don't know what we gotta do. Find a way to enter the recycle storage. Where's the recycle storage? Oh it's here. Locked. Locked it says. Can we get up on the roof? Hmm. How you can get into recycle and storage? What's this? Oh, hello. We can get up on the roof. <gasps> Aha! Here's the back door. So this is a puzzle platformer. It's a very good one. Uh, objective started to find a way to enter the main storage. This is definitely the way in. Search for the signal jammer at SC19. So, that's 17 and 16. Uh, it says SC19. Is, that, is this it? It seems the jammer has already been taken. Search for it at the administrative area. Okay, so how do we get to the administrative area? We've got to go up here. Come on, let me up there. Be careful of the dangerous vapour. Right, okay. I presume it's going to stop. Ha ha. Right. Sources allude to the jammer being in Office 34. Where's Office 34? That's Office 41. And that's 42. 44. 43. 
as if we've got to go this way. Okay. Office 34, there we are. Rene Tarantino. And that's where it ends. So it is a work in progress, but it's looking very promising, I think. As a little adventure puzzle platformer. I think that's going to be a bit of fun. So I like that one. Island Game Mechanics Test is another um, uh, simple little game, but it has some um, promise. So at the moment, I think it's just a single quest. And as it's such, it's only a single quest, I, don't, I feel I'd be spoiling it by doing it. Um, but let's have a look at the characters. Look at this. I love him. That's a really interesting looking character, all fluffy with his with his horns and stuff and carrying a stick. I think that's great. And um, another character, which is clearly the same type of character, but it looks completely different. I think it's really well done. Have you found the sword? No, not yet. I'm still looking. No, I've searched everywhere. Where could it be? Let's try that. Hmm. Well, the others had been hidden below the ground of course there's a way underground yes yes perhaps you should start looking so there there we go it's told you everything you need to know so going up is probably not the right thing um so it's really nice um they've gone for the very soft look for the for the landscape all painterly and fluffy but it's cool so it's um it's a little adventure, a little questing adventure. We've got to find the sword. Um which is hidden somewhere on the island in a cave. Which I did find last time, but I can't remember where it was. Uh clearly not that way. Is it right. Let's go up here. Somewhere there is a cave, and like I say, I don't spoil it for you because it is a—it was just a work in progress. So I'll stop there, and you can go and hunt for the cave yourself. See if you can find the sword. So this is the sort of thing that I expect is going to be made um, um, going forward. So lots of little tryouts of games. Um, here is Jungle Bill. This is another adventure. Trek deep into the jungle, avoid deadly traps, explore and uncover the secrets of... Uh, seriously? Titi Kata Huatakaka something. Right. Here we go. So this is a sort of Tomb raider -y Uncharted sort of thing. Jungle Bill. So another puzzle adventure platformer with a collection quest. Collect the coins. So I've collected one coin and no treasure and no secrets. Is there a secret in here? What's in here? Ooh. Hello. Ooh, suddenly turned very Indiana Jones. There's a lever down there. I bet that makes that go down. How do I get over there? Do I jump? Oh no, I can't go over there. Oh, okay. There's a barrier that stops me from doing that. So how do I get over there? Do I jump? Can I get... No, I can't get through. There's a barrier there as well. Interesting. Well, it's a coin anyway. Let's follow the coins, I guess. 
So this is quite an involved little adventure, this. Um, atmospheric. It's got a really interesting look to it, I think. I think there's a potential for this to be developed. Quite, oh, jeez. Hmm. Might help if I didn't try and circumvent the jump and just do the jump. There we are. No coins? I feel angry now. <laughs> How dare you give me a pot with no coin in it? It's interesting actually, in Tomb Raider she breaks a lot of these um, pots and things in order to and she's supposed to be an archaeologist. You wouldn't go around breaking up pots if you were an archaeologist. That's the last thing you'd do. Ooh. I have found some treasure. Oh, I haven't found some treasure. I found a secret. That didn't count as a treasure. Oh, okay. I found a secret, though. That's good. Did I come in that way? I did, didn't I? Uh... Right, let's not get carried away because I could spend that hours playing that. There, so there we go, Jungle Jim. No, oh, not Jungle Jim, Jungle Bill. You can, uh, you can have a go at that. See how far you get. Find all the coins. Find all the treasure. All the secrets. This is Ship Invaded. First person version by Arcane033. Experience the entire Ship Invaded series in first person. Place yourself in the shoes of an astronaut attempting to escape an alien-infested spaceship. First person can make the game more difficult than the original third person version. So apparently there is two versions of this game. So you can hunt out both. We're doing the first person version. First person vision. Gosh, I can't speak today. No! Oh dear. Right. So, everything's on fire. Busted up. Do I jump down? Well, I guess I jumped down. Oh, there's that astronaut that got killed earlier. Oh, there's an alien that way. I don't think I want to go there. Right. Ah, the lab team has almost finally completed the medic platform. Well, that's less of it. The aliens are picking us up, picking us one by one. We did signal for help, but I doubt this will arrive in time. If you're reading this, I'm sorry for bringing you into our nightmare. Though I'm sure if it actually works, use the medic platform. It should be able to heal your wounds the longer you stand on it and copies your mind and body to back bring you back to its location right before unconsciousness. We've placed a very small one across the ship. Take advantage of these and escape while you can. Right. Okay. I don't know where we need to go. Oh, there's a platform. There's a medical platform there, but we don't need that. Ooh. Okay. There's some aliens in here. What if we jump... Uh-huh. Oh, I think I've got to get over there. That would be my guess. Right, where 
did the alien go? Okay, we'll go this way. Hmm. Cool. Okay. Lots of dead bodies. I collected a prize bubble. Have I got to sneak past that or? There's no other door. Another one. Whoa. Oh no, is that dead end? Oh, it's not dead end. Dead end. That's good. Where am I? Oh, what's this? Who are you? I have no idea. I've got 100% health though, so I don't need that medic thing. Okay. Oh, another prize bubble. That one's pink. Am I stuck as this for all of eternity? Oh dear. That doesn't sound good. What's this? Upon studying the pyramid for hours trying to get it open, it seems impossible. The pyramid seems to be completely unbreakable. Slamming it, a drill, burning it, nothing scratched it. What material is this? Oh dear, did they attract these aliens because they got their pyramid? Hmm. Run. Don't go any further. F ah! Find another way. <laughs> Is he chasing me? I wish you luck and hope that you actually make it, unlike us who are now bound here. Oh dear. Looks like the aliens have turned all our astronauts into sparkly things. Excited music now. Oh, oh, oh wrong, wrong way! No! Oh! Oh my god, they're everywhere! Ah! 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 <laughs> no, which way? This way, this way, this way! No, oh, never mind. There we go. It got too exciting for me, that. Right, so that was ship invaded. Now we've got something a little bit more sedate. Mansala by Jack Power and Double O Dobby. The classic ancient board game. Now I have absolutely no idea when I'm playing this what the hell I was doing. Quite frankly. Unless you, even reading the rules. Move counterclockwise. Player drops the stones in each hole until they run out. Which sounds fair enough until I actually begin to play it and then so I pick those up and it goes one one in there and one in there and then apparently I can pick up some more But I don't know why. One, two, three. Right, so he's got one, two, three.
And he's now carried that over to there for no explanation whatsoever. It's like, okay, is it my go? I go there. I'm guessing the idea is to get them in here, but I don't. I don't know what happens if I get them in that end. Is that my end and that's the other guy's end? I've no idea. I don't know. The instructions are not there. I don't know what the aim of the game is or anything. And he just keeps going, so it's like, oh, okay. Beautifully, um, beautifully designed though. It's a really nice little set they've set the uh, the board in. Look, very nice. And uh, this all works. You've got AI and everything, which is uh, commendable. So there we go. So if you do know how to play this game, I'm sure this is amazing. But um, I don't get it. <laughs> so <laughs> so there we are. Right, now here's the final game. Uh, Lou Barber, A Story of Garden Keepers by XX Arts XX. Sort of an unusual one, this. This is our, our hero, a sort of a middle-aged lady, which is a bit weird. Uh, but it's quite polished. Lou Barber Games. They've, they've uh, obviously thrown everything into this one character. She is going to be the star of their games. So there we are. She's um, sort of a middle-aged old lady with glasses and an impy hat. And um, a skirt that shows her drawers. Right, so what have we got to do here? X. X, X. Uh, so we're collecting these bottles and I know we've got to get 25 in order to get to the door at the end. So I've got to jump and then hover and I think I'm not going to make it. No! Try that again. There we go, that's better. I needed a bit of speed. Right, so we've got to collect all of these bottles. There's another one. There's another one. Right, another bottle over there. Oh, I guess we need to pull some mushrooms and put them in here. You can use the circle button to summon me and then R2 to interact with the surroundings. When you grab an object with R2, you can use the L to move it forward or backwards. Do Barber, try it out. Okay, so. Um. Hmm. I don't appear to be able to pick up these mushrooms or interact with this character. Okay, maybe I've got my circle and then I can pick up this mushroom, can I? No? What about this one? Hmm, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I did play this game earlier and it was fine, but it hasn't had an update since. Um, sometimes Um, updates break games. Come on. Let me uproot you. Mushroom. I don't know what's happening here. Ah, got it. Okay, so that's one. Aha. It's working now. Get it in. That's two. Can I get one at a distance? No, I think I've got to go over there. Okay. No. Nope. 
Oh, it's too far away, I can't reach. There we go. There's my three mushrooms. Oh. Well, there's my three mushrooms. Oh, I'd have missed it. It didn't go in, it went over the out, out there, over the edge. Oh, damn. Hmm. I did not have this trouble last time I played this. No, it does not want to know. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. How many mushrooms have I got to put in here? That's four now. Does that one not count either? Hmm, I think there's something not quite right with the game now, which is such a shame because this was really good the other day when I played it. But hey, these things happen. Right, well, there you go. There was the collection for this week. Hope you enjoyed those. Uh, if you've got anything in the Dreamverse that you think I would like, then please send it to me using the send to link. Um, otherwise, uh, just keep on making things for dreams. I uh, hope you enjoy the update. And for those of you who are new that are getting the game on Friday, welcome. Uh, it's a great community. I hope you have a really great time um, learning dreams. Don't get too frustrated st to start with because it is a huge learning curve, but you will love it, I promise. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in your dreams. <laughs>